वेलकम टू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन एट विद्यालंकर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस डिपार्टमेंट वी हैव टेकन दिस न्यू इनिशिएटिव टू स्टार्ट अवर ओन यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल वी आर गोइंग टू अपलोड ऑल अवर एक्सपेरिमेंट्स वीडियो वैल्यू एडेड कोर्स वीडियो और एनी अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट वीडियोज दिस मटीरियल विल बी अवेलेबल टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स इन मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी एंड दिस मटीरियल विल हेल्प स्टूडेंट्स Uh, to enhance their learning not just in their classroom but even outside the classroom i hope that everyone will uh, like this our effort and in case of any query comments anything they can put it in the comment box thank you hello everyone welcome to software simulation laboratory this is experiment number 7 Title: To plot the transient response of second-order closed-loop control system and calculation of control system specifications like time constant, settling time, etc. from the response in MATLAB. So let's look into some theory of it. In most of the practical cases, the desired performance characteristics of control systems are specified in terms of time domain quantities. Very frequently, the transient and steady state response is used. in st uh, transient state response of a control system often exhibits damped oscillation before reaching steady state therefore it is characterized by some of the quantities such as rise time percentage overshoot peak time settling time and delay time rise time is the time to rise from 10% to 90% percent. percentage overshoot is the min maximum peak value of the response curve measured from in unity peak time is the time to reach the first peak settling time the time required for the response to settle within a specified range 2 or 5% of its final value and last is the delay time this time is represented by td the time required by the response to reach 50% of the final value for the first time is known as the delay time uh, so now lo let's look into the program let's go to file new script Now we are done with the typing of the program. Let's check the program step by step. CLC and clear all commands we have discussed before many times, but let's uh, check in with that once again. CLC is used for clearing the command window. Clear all clears all the objects in the workspace of MATLAB. Now let's define the natural frequency that is omega n, which is user defined. Next we uh, now in this program we need to uh, display the step response of undamped, underdamped, critically damped, and overdamped system. Uh, let's see uh, when the system is undamped, underdamped, critically damped, and overdamped. When zeta equal to zero, the system is undamped uh, system, and when zeta is greater than zero and less than one, the system is underdamped system, and when zeta is uh, equal to one, the system is critically damped system, and when zeta is greater than one, the uh, the system is uh, overdamped system. when zeta equal to 0 uh, the system has sustained oscillations now let's define the second order closed loop uh, control system equation which is given by s equal to transfer function omega n into omega n and uh, this part is the numerator after the comma the it is the denominator so um, we haven't put a semicolon over here so we'll uh, see in the output window how this equation will look for different zetas now we divide the given Uh, area of figure into rows and columns and subplot 2 comma 2 comma 1 means that uh, the figure is divided into two rows two columns and the first um, space is being accessed by us step s is a function which we use directly to calculate the step response of a of any equation so we next we give the title for this that is undamped step response Next, we define zeta equal to point two. That is uh, in between zero and one, which is for under damped system. We define the same uh, characteristic uh, equation for that closed loop equation for that, and we also calculate step info in this. Step info gives the step response characteristics of the equation also. That is the peak time, uh, settling time, and etc. And subplot two comma two comma two means that the second it is being uh, accessed uh, in the second block, and step s means the step response is being uh, calculated. Same thing is done for the critically damped system and overdamped system. Just the subplots are being changed and the zeta is being changed. So now let's check the output. So now we need to enter the natural frequency. Let's enter say three. So we have omega n equal to three and the transfer function. 
and now we got the output uh, this is the response of undamped step response this is the underdamped step response this is for critically damped and this is for overdamped system now that we entered the natural frequency omega n equal to 3 the transfer function we have obtained for all the three uh, all the four systems and the characteristic peak time and everything is also displayed see over here we have because we use step info in one of the programs that is for under damped we got the rise time settling time and all these characteristics also plus we obtained the figure for the plus we obtained the step response in matlab of all the four things that's all for today thanks for watching